Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to yet again another tutorial. And today we're gonna be showing you guys how to do like the color splash, color subject, black and white effect. Honestly, I have no idea what to call it, but it's the effect that you guys saw in the intro. But anyways, before we go ahead and get started in this tutorial, I'll let you guys know that I sell editing packs and presets for content creators literally just like you. So that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started inside of Premiere Pro. So today we are using a uh, Sean O'Malley clip from LT. I know I've been dropping these tutorials back to back to back. I've just honestly been having a lot of fun editing this footage because it's just, it's fucking sick. Honestly, it's super cool. Let's go ahead and get started on the effect. So let's go ahead and find a spot where we want the effect to take place. And honestly, I think this is like the only only clip that we can do it um so let's go ahead and do it right here yo real quick before we continue with the tutorial i want to let you guys know that the ultimate solo creator bundle is out now and hands down this is the best product that i've made i've spent the last year and a half creating this preset pack so that way i don't have to keep doing repetitive tasks and through this kit i was actually able to optimize my workflow so now i don't spend hours and hours each and every single day editing content like now editing is just a simple drag and drop process and like i genuinely mean that i use these presets each and every single day and they're actually pretty gas so if you want to be able to edit like me and plenty of other dope creators online go ahead check it out down below in the description and let's get right back to the video so first things first what you guys want to go ahead and do is you guys want to rotoscope out the subject and whether you're going to rotoscope in after effects whether you're going to mask it manually in premiere pro don't do it that's actually the worst idea ever but if you got to do it you got to do it you know what i'm saying i ain't here to judge the way that i'm personally going to do it is there's a paid plugin which i've already created a video on you can go watch it right now that keys for you automatically and sometimes the results are hit or miss but if you have a clean subject then it really does a great job so let's go ahead and rotoscope out our subject and the way that i'm going to do it is going to duplicate the clip go over to my effects type in keeper this lovely lovely plugin and you're going to see that it's oh whoa you're going to see that's going to key out our subject literally almost perfectly. So you can detect subject person. I'm just going to see how this actually does, which just does pretty well. Um, so that, that's good to see. Let's go ahead and just see frame. Yeah, I think that's actually pretty solid. That's good enough for the results that we're looking for. Let's just go ahead and clean up the key real quick. Just a little bit output. We're going to go ahead and do quality high. We want this to be mwah. Perfect. And then we're going to maybe thicken it up a little bit. Um, no, maybe, maybe no, 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 we're not. We're going to erode it a little bit. No, we're not. We're just going to leave, uh, maybe thin it out. There we go. We're going to thin it out. Turn this to zero, maybe thicken it a bit, but also thin it out. Yeah, that looks way better. Okay. Okay, never mind. We are not thinning it out. Don't listen to me. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, bro, apparently. All right, so anyways, you have our subject keyed. Literally, it was just a drag and drop process. I overcomplicated it, not gonna lie, which stuff I always tend to do. Anyways, let's go ahead and bring back our bottom layer. And now you guys can probably guess what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to the Lumetri color and we're gonna turn down the saturation. And as you can see, the effect is literally freaking done and it's as easy as that. So let's go ahead and watch it through. Like that's actually pretty hard. That's pretty gas. Now, one thing I would probably do is I'm actually going to do it for the same thing for this clip. So you guys are going to watch me do it real time without trying to explain it. So it's going to be really quick. All right, we're done. We're literally already done. So we're actually going to do it um, starting from here. So same exact process, just copy paste this effect. Easy, copy paste the lumetri color, copy paste, we're good. And then we're gonna render it out. And that's literally the entire process. So if you guys found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Remember, take action, take over. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.